hell is this terabloid shit? Did a shirt and it killed him. people they kill. Might wanna be ready for combat. You can't hide from me. Killing spray. So the tower of lies must have jumped down or something. I don't know where. There she is. She came down the normal way. Okay. Okay. Get him. Please, someone do something. Where's um? There she is. Don't hurt me.
crashed up there. And you thought I was Try just a pretty face. Try not to look face. too incompetent. It's embarrassing. I never would have believed it. I haven't seen it with my own eyes. Okay. <clears throat> In all my years, I've never seen such a thing. It's dead. Surely you have something better. Okay. There he is. You're back. Please tell me what you found. Uh, yeah, you were right. Here's the journal. Let me see that. Huh, I knew it. Gratian's death wasn't because of a rock fall, it was just a story to keep people away from the tombs. Now that I have his journal in hand, I can get some closure from the East Empire Company. Make them pay for lying to everyone. Yeah. Thank you. And I know when one should Now, speak. I believe and I owe you a little speak. more than a debt of gratitude for all that work you did. Here, it's not much, but it's the best an old retired miner can do. Okay. Mark my words, Raven Rock isn't finished yet. Um, the light's still on. Wide. Um, quick light. Right. I'm sorry to bother you, but Second Councillor Rano asked me to come find you. He said it's quite urgent. Okay. All he wanted me to do is track you down and send you to him. Look, this is important. Even more important than wiping out the ash spawn. Please, go speak to the Second Councillor as soon as possible. Few can resist my charms. Even fewer are worthy of them. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? <laughs> that foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. Okay. No, no, no. This isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Maybe we need one of those for, um... Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Okay. You tell Crushes he better give that back to me. Yeah, you need else. one of those to mine stole. Okay. I just went to his house, didn't I? You all right? You look like you might be sick. Um, Glover wants his ancient Nordic pickaxe back. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the skull in the first place. <laughs> okay, um. Oh, very well. Here, tell him I hope he drops a thing on his foot. Okay, then. Of course. In fact, Councillor Morvane has given you the like full run that of the place. Well. Help yourself to whatever you like. We're all in agreement that you're entitled to as much as you can carry. All right. <clears throat> I've been made the foreman of the mine, thanks to everything you did down there. It's good to get the old nose working again. I missed sniffing out the ebony deposits and getting my hands dirty. 
Best of all, Aphia isn't so cross when I go down there anymore. All right. Thank you, stranger. Thanks for everything. I can't run, can I? I can't believe you found a way to reopen the mines. I don't know how to thank you. I did it. Find my pickaxe yet? So, you finally tracked down old Crescius, eh? Quite a character, isn't he? Tell you what, since you went through all the trouble of finding it for me and all, you keep it. Okay. I just wanted to remind that codger you can't just go around taking things from other people. Now that you've delivered the message, I'm satisfied. Besides, that pickaxe hasn't done me any There's good in years. Been. The Maybe you can put it to good use. Maybe. I've always had a steady stream of work thanks to the Redoran Guard, so it hasn't affected me much. However, I've seen the smile on people's faces, and there's hope around here once again. Something we've been lacking for a long time. Looking to protect yourself, or deal some damage? Looking to protect yourself, or deal some damage? Uh, that's not weak. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. Okay, we got an ancient <laughs> Nordic picket. <laughs> Maybe I should have left the light on wide. Thank you for coming. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more. But I can't risk Councillor Morvane being killed. Uh, he's been in danger of being killed. The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the Councillor's head. Uh... Boy. It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. The problem is I don't have any solid They've proof that anyone that. from well, House Lalu is hidden among us. Right. Only my suspicions. may be justified, but it certainly isn't appreciated. Councillor Morvane simply feels that I'm being paranoid. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. And I don't want it to come to that. I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. Ravenrock is a small settlement. So it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move they without them knowing. Mm -hmm. Okay, what can I do? I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock and see if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. I can't afford to make any mistakes. Okay. Don't worry. You can trust Geldis. He's been with us for a long time. 